It's good to talk with you again. We are looking forward to a time when people are talking about what the real secret is. Because the real secret is not the law of attraction. That's like gravity. That's not a secret. You can't, you can't help but notice that once you're onto it. But the real secret is it's the, the secret of the art of allowing. It's the art of allowing you to blend with the broader perspective. That's what, that's what the true secret of success is. It's what the true secret of happiness is. It's what the true misunderstanding is. It's the reason that, that Oprah, like our friend, is reluctant to have something this weird presented to her audience that she does not think is ready for us. So, so the world just keeps keeping the secret, even though every one of you, if you've ever yawned, you've channeled because a broader part of you set the impulse and the physical aspects of your body received the impulse and your body responded to the impulse that was set forth by source. You see what we're getting at? Now we are ready for it. Thank you. I'm trying to think where to start, but um, for some time I've been studying people and the aspect of faith. In the South, a lot of Christianity and other parts of the world different types of faith but it seems all people with faith whatever their faith is in can manifest very quickly and I sort of want to confirm that faith in your opinion is that place that is well what we would call faith what we would call faith this is the way we would define it faith is alignment alignment with an idea alignment with the desire it's lined up energy in other words when you want something and you believe it there's no contradiction in your vibration and so you are offering a singular vibration which is more powerful than if your energy is split so it doesn't really matter what it is they are believing in per se faith in the truest sense of the word faith in the way that we mean it would be like being in the vortex and this is the way we explain it before you came into this physical body, you existed as a vibrational consciousness, powerful source energy. A part of that consciousness comes into this body where you explore and expand. In other words, knowing what you don't want, knowing what you do want, you continue to evolve and expand and ask for more. And the non-physical part of you receives that request and becomes it immediately. Knowledge, not faith, knowledge, knows it completely, is it, bees it. Now there's a gap usually between the time you ask and the time you allow. And if you stand in an attitude of hopefulness or expectation or what one might call faith, if you stand in a vibration of expecting, now there's little resistance in your vibration. And so what you are asking for then is revealed to you. That's why so many different people from so many different religions asking for so many different things all come to the common denominator of faith. Because there is not a giant right and wrong in the sky. There is life that is carved out by the individual desirer or creator. And then source accommodating, law of attraction facilitating, and faith is what brings you into vibrational alignment with it. You could say that faith and allowing are about the same thing. Okay. When you stood before Jesus, you were speaking of Christianity, dripping your illness, he was a healer who did not allow himself to even go to where your illness was. In other words, he did not acknowledge you in your illness. Instead, he knew you in your wellness. And because he knew so completely your wellness and offered the singular expression of that which is source energy, your illness could not abide in that vibration. And he said to you, it is your faith that makes you whole. It is your belief that makes you well. That's what he was talking about. Not, not a thought. Now, someone else could come, a physician today could come and say, it is illogical. In other words, uh, this person has this, the evidence is shown in these tests, in these blood tests, in these x-rays. And he could talk you into doubt, which is the opposite of faith. He could talk you into vibrational alignment with the evidence that you're already living. So faith in its purest form is, is, alignment with 
the vibrational evidence, not the reality that is already, this is where we started here today, isn't it? That there is this, this reality that is already manifested, this manifestational reality. And most people put most of their faith in what they're seeing. That's why things move so slowly for most people. They believe what they see, but they don't believe it until they see it. And the problem with that is until what faith is, is believing it before you see it, believing it before it is manifested, believe it while it's in the manifestation, while it is in the vibrational state before it is in the manifestational state. And then it will become manifestational best description of faith ever. Okay. okay here, and in some ways. Can you feel that this gathering gathered before you even dragged your physical bodies here in the sense that we had already so powerfully laid the groundwork for that? You see how we're all in this together? That what you're wanting to know has preceded your arrival with your body and your words at this gathering. Nice to know. So, so isn't it true that that's the, that's the step that most people are just have not taken is that step that I'm just going to believe it before I see it, right? It is, but, but that's why we, that's why it's like Esther has a tickle in her throat and before it gets too strong, she's going to allow us to suck on this. It, 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 it's a little bit like that. In other words, when, when you, you have an inkling about something, you can sort of tell where it's going, can't you? You can sort of tell where it's going. So if Esther catches this before she starts snorting into the microphone it's much much better than if she waits until after all things are that way you have you can tell by the way you feel what your vicinity is to where you really want to be you can tell when you're moving away from it you can tell when you're moving toward it you see okay. now bring us back around to where you were going because we like the direction of that I've, I've just been very happy in the last couple of years I've manifested all these things that a few years ago I was struggling with and it just seems I've been getting up every morning with appreciation and faith that the unseen is just as well seen no, and I just a, wanted to confirm that that's a, perfect, that is, that's a perfect state of being because when when you are appreciative and pleased with where you are and eager for more it is the perfect vibrational dynamic because you're still reaching with slight or no resistance, still reaching with slight or no resistance. It, that just makes for the most comfortable, joyous expansion in life. Yes. yes. The, the, we want to go back to what you were talking about, about, and what we were talking about, about the manifested reality. When you said most people want to see it and then they will believe it. And that is the reason that this vortex analogy is so helpful in our teaching of this thing about faith is because if we can convince you in the validity of this vibrational precursor and we can speak of it enough that you will notice in your own life experience. In other words, you can discover on your own the reality of what it feels like when you line up with who you are and what it feels like when you don't. So now it's not faith. It, it's real. In other words, you can feel, you can feel the thrill of connection and you can feel the discord of disconnection. You can feel the thrill and the clarity and the well-being of alignment and you can feel the, the discord of not. And so now, now if we can convince you, of the vibrational reality before you see it, but not before you feel it. So faith is reaching for the feeling and then trusting that the manifestation will follow that feeling. And, and you don't, you only need a little bit of faith for a little while because the manifestation will give you the evidence. In other words, it, the, we're not asking you to go on year after year after year. That's what our friend helped us to say as we began here today. Sometimes if you've had something that you've wanted for a really long time and it hasn't manifested, you lose the faith. But it's because you don't understand the laws of the universe and you're not understanding your own guidance system. When all that clicks into place, faith isn't necessary because you just know. You don't have to, you don't, you're not going on faith. You don't have to convince people and people don't need you to have faith either because they're watching things manifest all around you. 
you reach the point where you barely speak of something and there it is you you barely you barely acknowledge slight interest in something and a whole bunch of it shows up in your experience where you can dissect it and enjoy it firsthand you see it's wonderful to know about the laws of the universe and and a thousand times more wonderful to apply them deliberately